joins us again. And Stephanie, some of the best protection you actually won't find in a bottle. That's true. Dermatologists say you want to make sure you're getting good coverage across your entire body, whether it's a spray, a lotion, or perhaps some clothing. Everyone is really good about covering their cheeks, chin, and forehead, but a lot of people tend to forget three key areas their nose, backs of their necks, and their ears. Uh, anything that's going to be exposed. So usually when it comes to beach and pool, upper body, arms, legs, kids, you want to be especially careful because most of your long-term sun damage occurs during childhood. And so you really want to protect your children. For people who are going to be active in water sports, especially little kids, wearing the clothing is just easier because trying to get the sunscreen on a child once is a challenge. Trying to get it on the child twice just doesn't happen. So if you can get the shirt on them, you're good to go. Yeah, we Paul, I'm sure you, you know about that. Well, here I have, I have my mirror, and I'm applying the sunscreen because the nose. And now, you know, remember the old look in, you know, in the movies where you yeah. see the white nose? Well, but guess my what? My father-in-law. It's back. Every day. This is really what you want to look yeah. like when you're sitting out in the sun. I'm not even trying to be silly or joke around. Right. I know it looks silly, but, you know, you really want that white coloring because that proves that you have zinc in so don't rub the it all the way in. Yeah, let don't. You want to rub most of it as good, as good as you can, but if it leaves some white, just let it alone. It's protecting your skin. Kind of the new thing to do. Absolutely. This yeah. is the look. Clothing with SPF is also really the best coverage that you'll get. But if you are using a spray or lotion, again, make sure you don't miss any spots. Rub it in, but leave some of the white. Most importantly, reapply, reapply, yeah. reapply. Mm -hmm. Do not skimp on the sunscreen. But the one interesting that I did, uh, interesting thing that I did learn while covering this, because it's you. on the ground. Thank you, Paul. Um, a lot of major brands of sunscreen that people tend to use all the time, they don't actually contain physical blockers, the titanium or the zinc. I mean, I literally scoured aisles in mm -hmm. multiple stores. Um, there are some brands I did find that have the physical blockers. This is a CVS brand. This is a more expensive called CeraVe, but you get a lot less sunscreen in these products for more money. Three ounces, right? But you, because you're paying for the active you're ingredients. You're paying for the active ingredients. Okay. And also, a really other important reminder this morning, the FDA is investigating spray sunscreens because they may be harmful See if I can get this to work here. Yeah. When they work. work. When they work. <laughs> um, the, with the spray that comes out, there, the little um, atoms in it mm -hmm. could be harmful if ingested for children, for children specifically. Right. Right. Consumer reports say parents should only use lotions for right now. And again, look for the lotions with the zinc and titanium. We can't say it enough this morning. Zinc and titanium. And right. especially because um, sun cancer is on the rise. And the dermatologist I spoke with said some folks as young as 2021 20, wow. coming in with melanoma. Wow. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, Thank Stephanie. You, Stephanie.